My name's Jid, um, Jid Leishman. I'm from Greymouth, but my parents are from Poland. Um, and I'm a junior doctor working at Mikago Hospital. And I like to do outdoorsy things, in particular mountain biking. So I've been like cycling since I was a little kid. And then as I got older, I got into road cycling on a proper road bike, because um, my dad was really good at cycling and he got me into it. And then when I left high school, um, my dad gave me his mountain bike and I decided to give that a go. And I found it was a lot more fun. Maintaining the equipment is my least favourite thing. You've got to maintain the bike and I'm not very good at doing stuff like that so you've got to like oil the chain regularly, take it out of your car every day and um, it's just all the maintenance required and as you get better bikes they break down more often because you're doing you know harder things. So in Invercargill there's two places, there's Sandy Point and then there's Bluff Hill. Sandy Point's kind of like for everyone, like there's lots of easy tracks there but if you go faster on them it makes them more difficult. Um, and then Bluff Hill's like a really steep hill and um, yeah, it can be quite tough but it's really fun. Make sure you've got a good helmet because um, accidents can happen while mountain biking even on the easy trails. Uh, anyone can go mountain biking with essentially any bike, it just makes it more difficult. So if you have like a commuter bike with one um, one gear, no suspension, it'll be very bumpy and you won't be able to change your gears for going up hills or going faster on downhills. So ideally you'd like front suspension um, and lots of different gears and that's the minimum. That You don't really need um, you know, to start on the hardest trails, you just sort of like take your bike, whatever bike it is, along to the mountain bike park and just start biking and try to stay off anything that has a black sign um, and then just stay on the grade twos and threes. And basically the, the grading is dependent on the terrain. So there's one to six in New Zealand and one would be like concrete and then two would be like a dirt flat track and then three might introduce some bumps and it might be a bit steeper. Yeah, you just sort of just work your way up so it's kind of like a progression thing. So at the moment I'd be doing like a four but if you did a six, you'd need to be wearing like a full faced helmet and um, like a neck brace and like full protective gear because it's really dangerous. If you want to do more advanced things, you need things like disc brakes rather than the pad brakes. And so disc brakes um, makes it less likely for your wheel to skid so you can brake harder and faster. My other friend who's never been mountain biking before asked me what I was doing. And so I said, going mountain biking, do you want to come? You know, we can find you a bike. It was sort of a bit half hearted. I didn't think he'd actually want to come, but he said yes. We took him along to Bluff and um, it was a really hot day and we all biked up this hill. It takes about 20 minutes of biking up a very steep hill. And by the time we got to the top, he was sweating literally litres of fluid out of his body. And he was like, eyes were glazed over. I literally thought he was going to collapse. But we started biking down the tracks and these are like massive boulders with like steep drop-offs. Um, and he had to walk some of it, but he ended up making it all the way down the hill. But at the very end of that hill, there was a sharp 90 degree turn and he didn't know it was coming and he was going quite fast down this very steep hill and then saw the turn and braked and then his back wheel started tipping like like this and um, then he fell head first into the bushes and sort of rolled down the hill a bit. <laughs> um, but you know, good on him for coming out. 